The last time we had shovel type snow, I took a time lapse <laughs> of my efforts on the driveway. Maddie, the 18 seconds of video <laughs> that I have right here does not really show what happened in real life because it was a long time. Yes, you make it look fast, but it still does not look like fun to me. I'm no. glad that the snow that our team is forecasting is not supposed to be shovel worthy. It is not shovel worthy. This is hard work, folks. I went looking for help for all of us when it comes to the <laughs> next big snow. Not this one, but the next one. And honestly, Tanya, I hope that that help involves going around to neighborhood kids so you can just pay <laughs> to do it for you, <laughs> which would be great. But what happens if you don't have any kids in your neighborhood. All right, this may help. Power shovel sort of looks like a light duty snowblower and it's really a hybrid between a snowblower and a traditional shovel. They're designed to go places where a snowblower would be overkill, like a short walkway or an elevated deck. Yeah, according to Consumer Reports, this $300 battery powered green works shovel was the best of the bunch. Keep in mind, these power shovels are heavier than a regular shovel, so still requires some muscle, right? And it's only truly effective for six inches or less of snow, which ding, 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 that's usually more than our allotment. So this is good for us, right? If you're only going to buy one type of shovel, this type is the one to get. It works for a variety of conditions. It's wide, so you can lift up a lot of snow, and it even has a steel lip here for getting through compacted snow or light ice. I know, I know. This snow probably isn't going to be the shovel snow for most of us in North Carolina, but it is always good to be prepared because it is hard to run out for the milk and the bread and the snow shovel when you really do need it.